Alright, sunshine peeps, welcome back with Sonic Canvas and another Tennessee Wars 9 updates. So, uh, before this, uh, before I start, I have removed Token Rambo. It sucks way more than I expected. I thought it's gonna be a turn based RPG like Rainbow Fantasy, but it's not. And considering the gacha itself, it's not only on while smithing swords, it's also on moving from one node in map from one place to another in a map. No. I say I quit. But don't worry. I have another game which I might reveal next time. I want to keep it a surprise. So let's begin with the characters. On the way update we have Is that a pro Changha? What the hell? Oh, name is Cao Xiu. Look at him. His weapon is like uh, some sort of a fan, but it's also a sword. So, it in each layer of the sword, if you open it, it will be a fan. It's like, what the hell? I'm not sure about the mechanics yet, but I think Koei designed him when they were like, okay, we already have Chang Ha, what, what if we make Chang Ha manly, but we keep the original Chang Ha because everyone in the western is a big fan of him. Then there comes Chang Xiu. Next. We have a returning character! Is that a pro Chan Gong? Look at his outfit! It looks like... It looks like Chan Gong in Dynasty Warriors 8! And the weapon... Uh, why does he have to get a throwing set of daggers? Yes, I know it. I know they want to be realistic, but at least give him another Chinese weapon. We have lots of Chinese weapons, not just throwing daggers. We also have deer horn knives in empires or MA daggers, or at least give him a fan. Or if you stuck, at least give him a fan, but not this. Well. If you put the throwing daggers on Chang He, I think I'm fine because, well, Chang He is technically a speedy character and the weapon just fits his personality. But a love child? Now he's a love child of Chen Gong, Jiang Wei, and Cao Yun? What the hell? Oh. Ah, the new update is informal outfit so uh, in the latest update according to the Tokyo game show uh, they uh, these characters will have informal outfits when they were not in the battle so basically they are uh, this outfit was made when you were handling some sort of internal affairs or uh, you just uh, these characters are just being an NPC at the moment when you're not using them something like that and Shahu Twin! Shahu Twin looks... well he puts his original yellow again and he looks dope NEXT in Wu we still have returning characters and oh my god go away are you sure this is Duran? I thought, I thought this guy was like Chinese Yukimura with the staff and things. Like, look at him. Is this even Duran? The 
this not Joran Dano? Well, compared to Lushin, it's, uh, I don't know. He looks more military, I guess. Looks more like, uh, what can I say this? Uh, if you remember Zhou Yu's outfit in Dynasty Warriors 8, remove the robes and you have this. Maybe exactly like this. It's now he looks more. Well, I couldn't say he looks more mature because he's still in the same age of Lushrin, not in the in the age around Sun Quan. Because I thought uh, Duran is a bit older than Sun Quan historically. Taking the informal outfits to the Sun couples. Ah. Looks good, by the way. Tatya looks different. I mean, well, it suits her a little bit more, but the twin tails. I'm not. I'm not really sure. And we have another returning characters! Si Yang Wei! I don't know what to say, it's uh... This design is like a combination of Dynasty Warrior 7 and 8. Because the hair is still the same, the double-edged trident still in him, and the robe, like in Dynasty Warrior 7, it's still on him. It's just, I don't know, it just looks so weird to seem like that. Moving on. Who the hell are you? And why the hell your boobs grow bigger? And why the hell did you use a pike? I thought, I mean, Xiaoxiang was given a miniskirt. When she's obviously a tomboy, but Yuing has a pair of friends. This design is mixed up. What? Ah, uh, this looks like uh, Sun Tzu, but uh, with different with different patterns and color scheme, and the hair. Uh. I don't know what happened to my house here, but I think they just uh, recreating the hair from Dynasty Warrior 6 and make it a little bit longer, I suppose. This reminds me of an old picture of Zhuge Liang, I think in uh, Sangokushi or Kesen, I don't, I, don't, I don't know which game, but they have exactly the same outfit like this. Or maybe more like in the TV series. I don't know. But I just have seen this robe somewhere. And the returning character is the second da uh, uh Wenya Exactly And thank goodness his weapon is not a spear. Oh Thank you, Goey. Thank you. I hate when you make a second Talion appears in the roster. And the worst of all, he uses a goddamn javelin in Dynasty Warrior Z. Oh. Now his weapon is no longer a spear type thing. He's no longer a second Talion. Now he's the first Wen Young. Finally. Finally. Ah, look at Jugadan. His face. I mean, his face is no longer. You know, when Jugadan first appeared in Dynasty Warrior Seven and Eight, his face was like, was like this. Now his face is more like a resting bitch face, like. Ah, 
that's a great improvement. And I see he returned with his fan. I love his fan movesets. Ah. I love this robe. Summer Shard just fits in. I love it. I love it. Oh, you and you, you're so beautiful. You look like a, uh, you know, some typical Chinese wife. But blondie! I just love this. This. I want her outfit. Like, so bad. Ah, look at you and Shao. The outfit just fits him, the yellow thing. It's just... If his hair is pure white or maybe silver platinum blonde thing... How did he... did his mustache see his black? I mean, how did he just color it? You know? Sometimes... I just... I'm just wondering. Ah, Lu. Uh, Sun Chen? No. It's Noble! I know, everyone always mistaken Sun Chen to Lubu. But don't worry, they're on different timelines, so. You don't need to worry about it. This outfit looks great. I mean, it's kind of like the one with so much. Uh. Like. It's kind of like summer sure, but uh, with different color scheme because I see the diff I see the same uh, dangly emblem thingy. But but still looks good on him. I love it. Ooh, horses, horses, horses. The fields can be exchanged for valuable items that go in collectors. Ah, but the horses! Look at the horses! I still keep the red hair. Ah, we not scroll, which can be earned as a boss for missions. Oh, so now they have new kinds of weapon. Uh. I think there's a ranged weapon, there's a melee weapon. But I'd say that it's it's a great improvement. You can see uh you can do you know working something outside of mission like fishing or something. You know, like in Final Fantasy 15. It's just Uh, I think I just love it. According to the system, uh, I think that uh, that's how I I'm gonna end the episode. And the new vision of open world will end right here. So, if you like it, just leave a like, comment, or just subscribe to my channel. Sonic and we'll see you later, and be creative. Goodbye!